was that? trees are bent over. It's been said that Bigfoot exhibits nocturnal behavior perhaps to hunt or to avoid detection but the cloak of darkness couldn't hide the creature in the stunning footage you're about to see walking through an old thick forest can make your skin crawl and your heart race imagine weaving through heavy trees and bushes then coming face to face with a massive figure of Bigfoot I knew exactly what we had on camera it was proof to me and my dad because who on a Tuesday night is a mile and a half into the woods running around with no flashlight. What if all the stories you dismissed is just old tales turned out to be true right before your eyes as the darkness falls how would you react if the legends you laughed at suddenly stood breathing in front of you the truth is more strange than the myths and what's coming will truly shock you America's fascination with Bigfoot recent recently an adventurer made a startling discovery that has everyone buzzing Bigfoot has been spotted did you know that Washington state has the most Bigfoot sightings with 676 reports reported encounters close behind is California with 445 sightings these are not just stories over 10,000 people across the United States have reported seeing this mysterious creature stay tuned as we unveil never before seen footage that could change everything we know about Bigfoot in 2010 a man claimed that a Bigfoot came to him while hunting in North Carolina many people love spending time in nature soaking up the beauty of the wilderness whether it's the majestic presence of lions and tigers or the stunning views of hills and mountains nature has a way of drawing us in there's a peacefulness in being surrounded by trees where the air feels fresher and the sounds of nature are more calming than any city noise but beyond these familiar sights and sounds there are stories of even more extraordinary creatures so fascinating that they have captured our imaginations for generations for centuries humans have been enchanted by mythical creatures like unicorns mermaids and dragons these fantastic beings appear in the old tales and folklore of many cultures each with its own unique stories but as time goes on these mythical creatures seem to fade away their existence overshadowed by a world that is changing quickly and their habitats shrinking the magical forests where unicorns might have once roamed or the vast oceans that were believed to be home to mermaids are being taken over by human activities this leaves little space for these legends to thrive yet even with these changes some of these stories have not disappeared completely especially in the United States among them Bigfoot also known as Sasquatch continues to capture a lot of attention Bigfoot is described as a large hairy creature that looks somewhat human and is said to roam the deep remote forests of North America we would hear something running on our right then we would hear something running on our left and it just it stopped real quick and then dad looked up at the you know up there at the tree and he's like oh I see something but this isn't the most surprising part these legends continue because of ongoing sightings and the excitement of the unknown they make us wonder where the line is between reality and myth between what we can see and what remains unseen what is it about these stories that keeps us so interested is it the thrill of the search the mystery of the unknown or perhaps something deeper a connection we feel with the mysteries of nature these stories challenge what we think we know about the world and encourage us to look beyond what is familiar but that's not all the hunt for these creatures is not just about proving they exist it's also about understanding our place in a world that is more amazing and complex than we might ever have imagined it makes us think about the possibility of life forms we have never considered living right beside us just out of sight as we go deeper into these woods and stories we learn more about these mythical creatures and rediscover our own sense of wonder and curiosity about the world around us for many years the story of Bigfoot has become a part of the culture in the United States and Canada this strange phenomenon is deeply rooted in local stories with many people sharing their experiences and passing them down through the years despite the fascination with Bigfoot many people remain doubtful the proof that it exists is often seen as weak or unconvincing photos are usually blurry footprints are hard to prove and personal stories can sound more like tall tales than actual encounters but even with these doubts the legend of Bigfoot lives on with new sightings reported every year not everyone is discouraged by the skepticism one of those people is Tony Harris the energetic host of the proof.
is out that Tony loves exploring the unknown whether it's ghosts or other strange happenings his endless curiosity drives him and his team to search for new evidence that might solve these age-old mysteries it's been said that Bigfoot exhibits nocturnal behavior perhaps to hunt or to avoid detection whether he is analyzing unusual videos or visiting mysterious places Tony's passion for discovery keeps him pushing to find what others might miss during one of his investigations Tony met Stacy Brown Jr a dedicated researcher and filmmaker from Crawfordville, Florida. Stacy's interest in the unknown started when he was a child sparked by the stories he shared with his father about UFOs and creatures like Bigfoot. Together they went on many Bigfooting trips into the wild. These adventures weren't just simple camping trips they were serious efforts to find out if the stories they had heard all their lives were true but this wasn't the only reason they kept going back. The thrill of possibly seeing Bigfoot was just part of the experience these trips also brought brought Stacy and his father closer together building a shared love for exploring the unknown each trip into the forest strengthened their bond bringing them together with a common purpose and only the basics in their backpacks growing up in a small town Stacy developed a unique way of looking at the stories about strange creatures in a place where everyone knows everyone news of unusual events spreads fast and Stacy soaked up these stories always eager to believe that the world might be more mysterious than it seems but this wasn't the end of the story the mix of belief and doubt is what makes the Bigfoot mystery so interesting while hard evidence may be rare and sightings may not happen often the stories of Bigfoot feel personal reflecting people's own experiences in the tales of their communities literally lived in the woods and so I felt my knowledge of you know wildlife and and just how the forest works some really was going to help me along in my journey these stories aren't just about chasing after a creature that's hard to find they're about a deeper need to connect to their mystery around us to nature and to each other looking into these legends gives us a different way to see the world it makes us question our assumptions challenging us to consider that maybe we don't know as much about nature as we think so the search for Bigfoot isn't just about proving it's real it's about a bigger quest to understand the hidden sides of our world but this wasn't the whole picture either as Tony and Stacy continue their explorations they are not only trying to uncover the truth about Bigfoot but also to understand and why humans need these kinds of myths why do these legends continue to exist what do they say about us and our place in the world these are the questions that drive their searches just as much as the hope of finding real proof their journeys filled with curiosity and set against the haunting beauty of the wilderness show the lasting appeal of the unknown each step into the deep shadowy forests is a step into a world where what we know and what we don't know blend together where every broken twig or unexplained sound might show that we share our world with creatures that have yet to be discovered as we dive deeper follow Stacy into the quiet woods where his adventure takes a surprising turn nature's apprentice for Stacy being in the forest wasn't just a way to pass the time it was where he felt most at peace far away from the noise and constant movement of city life the quiet and wild surroundings of the woods called to him much more than the hustle and bustle of the urban living his time in the forest gave him special skills and knowledge that he believed could help him find out the truth about a legendary creature said to RO those lands he learned to track animals recognize different sounds in the forest and make his way through thick brush connecting him to nature in ways that many people could hardly understand but even with all these skills nothing could have prepared Stacy and his father for what happened one summer day in 2012 it was an experience that would change how they thought about all the stories they had heard before that day their campfire tales such Suddenly felt all too real it was. On that evening that Stacy usually calm even in tough situations found himself feeling a bit shaken he had left his father's new thermal camera behind and while that might have seemed like a small mistake it saved him from the fear his father felt when the camera stopped working without the camera they were left in the dark unable to see whatever was lurking just outside the reach of their flashlights in that tense moment his father who had served as an army ranger asked Stacy a question he had never heard before are you you are? Armed. 
then it takes off and crosses this gap and he goes into full blown panic mode the camera goes dead he's like we got to go we got to go he's like do you got your gun the anxiety in his father's voice sent a wave of fear through Stacy making him realize just how serious their situation had become but this wasn't the worst part when they shared their frightening story with friends and family the reaction was lukewarm at best most people listened politely but didn't seem too convinced still Stacy was sure about what they had encountered on a cold morning not long after he and his father decided to return to a forest known for its Bigfoot sightings the air was freezing each breath felt like a stab of ice and the forest was strangely silent as if waiting for something big to happen as they walked further into the misty woods surrounded by towering trees they saw a figure moving in the distance with shaky hands they managed to capture some footage that looked like Bigfoot however this wasn't the end of their adventure it was just the beginning this encounter only made Stacy. More determined to find out the truth each time he went back into the woods he felt a mix of fear and excitement knowing he could be on the edge of discovering something that could change everything for Stacy Bigfoot was no longer just a story it was something real and pressing a mystery he was determined to solve but this wasn't the end of his journey I knew ex exactly what we had on camera and somebody needed to look into this thing and it couldn't be us it had to be somebody that had no skin in the game no horse in. The race so driven by the thrill of the search and the hope of finding real answers Stacy kept going back into the forest yet the truth seemed to stay just out of his grasp feeding both his frustration and his fascination he felt torn between wanting to return to the site where they had seen the figure and feeling scared to face whatever was out there alone in the dark and deep woods feeling unsure of what to do next Stacy decided to reach out to Cliff Barackman a well-known researcher who had spent many years studying similar mysteries he shared the video footage with Cliff and waited for a reply hoping for insights that could either confirm what he had experienced or guide him walking through an old thick forest can make your skin crawl and your heart race imagine weaving through heavy trees and bushes then coming face to face with a massive figure of Bigfoot what if all the stories you dismissed as just old tales turned out to be true right before your forest returned dilemma despite Cliff Batchman's excitement and willingness to help Stacy and his father were hesitant to go back to the forest the idea of returning felt scary even with an expert by their side but Cliff saw this as less of a risk and more of an opportunity to dig deeper he was ready even excited to face the challenge and he quickly set up a detailed plan to search the area for more evidence that could confirm or deny what Stacy had seen Cliff's positive attitude made Stacy feel better knowing they were in good hands but it also made them realize how serious their search could become while Cliff was preparing for his search something surprising happened miles away a man named Doug Teague was taking a walk in the woods on a warm summer day when he saw a large shadowy figure moving through the trees thinking fast Doug pulled out his phone and started recording the video wasn't very clear it showed more of a dark shape than a clear figure but whatever it was it was hard to ignore and definitely unsettling when Doug got home and calmed down a bit he described what he saw a tall dark figure with patches of silver fur like a giant gorilla his video was grainy making it hard to see all the details but you could still make out the outline of something big and intimidating was it Bigfoot Doug wasn't sure but the whole thing left him feeling deeply shaken but this wasn't the end of Doug's strange experience before he started recording Doug noticed some odd things happening around him at first he heard knocking sounds which he thought were just a woodpecker but then a rock flew in his direction something many Bigfoot experts say is a common behavior of the creature this strange experience in the video he captured only sparked more conversations and debates about Bigfoot adding yet another puzzling story to the growing collection of sightings but it didn't stop there as Doug was walking back down the hill he heard deep eerie grunts coming from the woods sounds he had never heard before suddenly he felt a strong push as if something powerful and unseen wanted him to leave the kind of habitat they like to live in they wouldn't be able to see the other individuals in their family groups they would have to call for them 
Whether it's mating or socialization or feeding or this mysterious force made Doug both scared and more curious than ever about what could be living in those woods to Cliff Barackman who had heard many similar stories before these details were important North Carolina where Doug's experience took place is known for many Bigfoot sightings with stories dating back hundreds of years Doug's recent experience seemed to match the local legends of a Bigfoot like e creature called NY which was said to live near the area where where Doug had his encounter but this wasn't the strangest part another researcher Ken Gart remembered stories of NY when he heard Doug's tale the details from different sightings seemed to match what Doug had experienced feeling both curious and determined Doug decided to take his search to the next level Doug set up cameras and other gear in the forest hoping to catch solid evidence of Bigfoot his effort soon paid off he managed to get more video footage and even made cast of some large footprints he found in the forest these videos and cast became key pieces of evidence suggesting that something unusual might really be out the Doug's ongoing efforts to uncover the secrets of the woods showed a fascinating side of human nature our endless desire to discover the unknown this drive pushes people like Doug Cliff and Ken to keep exploring keep asking questions and keep heading into the wild chasing after the mysteries that stay just out of reach but hinted something amazing Cliff Barackman was thrilled when he looked at the footprints Doug eagerly found. Ronnie and Maria to scan this that combined with the smaller prints in the mud down below we have to he compared these new prints to some others that had been confirmed before and they looked surprisingly similar it seemed like they might be getting closer to a big discovery but they still had a long way to go to find the truth while some of the clues looked promising not everyone on the team was short only another researcher thought the video Doug had provided was too blurry to make any solid conclusions even though there footprints caught his interest Tony stayed cautious he knew there had been many tricks in the past that fooled even experienced experts but instead of slowing them down this caution made the team even more determined to keep searching they decided to ask Kathy Strain a respected expert in this field for her opinion to see if she could help them understand their findings better Kathy an experienced anthropologist carefully examined the footprint cast Doug had given her the details were interesting the shape of the toes how deep the print was in its large size she suggested that these prints could belong to a large human-like creature maybe one that hadn't been discovered yet and could be living in the hidden parts of the forest her thoughts gave more weight to Doug's claims which was different from the doubts that some others had but this wasn't the end of the questions Lucy Eckersley the team's wildlife biologist still still wasn't convinced she looked closely at the space between the footprints which were quite far apart hinting at a very large creature However Lucy wanted more solid proof before making any guesses about what kind of animal could have left these prints the group felt a mix of excitement and doubt with each new clue feeling like a step forward but not enough to be sure but this wasn't the worst part as they continued their work in the forest it felt like secrets were hiding just out of reach every little no noise a snapping twig or a rustling leaf kept them on edge wondering what might be watching from the shadows the difference between Kathy's excitement about the footprints and Lucy's call for more proof created a tension that pushed the team to work even harder together their mix of eagerness and careful checking meant they paid close attention to every bit of evidence they found as they kept searching more signs began to show up they found more footprints noticed signs that something was moving through the forest and they whittle it down to 44 minutes so in this case a lot didn't make it to the actual episode a lot ended up on the digital cutting room floor I'm probably most noteworthy was the interview with the zoo curator and started to think about what kind of creature could be out there each new piece of information made their search more complex and exciting turning it into a real adventure but there was still more to think about their mission was about more than just proving or disproving Bigfoot's existence it was also about learning more about the forest itself the size of the footprint suggested a very big creature maybe about 15 feet tall based on how far apart the steps were however the video did didn't.
clearly show the creature's exact size though it seemed big enough to leave such marks then Lucy noticed something strange in the video Doug's dog Daisy was acting very calm usually a dog would be nervous or alert if a big unknown creature was near nearby this unusual behavior made them wonder was it really Bigfoot or could it have been something else like a large bear but this wasn't the whole story the bear idea had some problems too Doug had mentioned that rock were thrown at him which isn't something bears do since they don't have hands like humans Lucy thought it might be a silverback gorilla because its shape and fur could match what was seen in the video but there were no silverback gorillas in that area so this idea seemed less likely this raised an exciting new question could they be dealing with a completely new type of creature something science had never discovered before Daisy's calm behavior could mean the creature's smell was new but not scary which would support the idea of an unknown animal but this wasn't the end of their doubts Lucy began to wonder if the whole thing could be a trick maybe someone had dressed up in a costume to look like Bigfoot this idea led the team to take another look at all their evidence even though they had been excited at first the blurry video and unclear footprints made Tony think it might be a hoax reminding everyone how easy it is to be fooled but this wasn't the end of their efforts this setback made them even more determined to find real proof they knew they might have to start their search again from scratch but the thought that Bigfoot could still be out there kept them motivated the mix of help and doubt pushed the team to keep going eager to find solid evidence to either prove or disprove the legend in their future searches what do you think could this be a new animal or just a prank like this leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.